All right, ladies and gentlemen, and people of all kinds, we are going to be working on a value scale. Um, I'm not sure if we worked on this in this class or not with pencil. I think it was maybe optional as an exercise, but this one is mandatory. This is getting a value range uh, from darkest to lightest using your charcoal. Okay, so first one should be pretty self-explanatory. Super easy to get. I'm using my compressed charcoal. It is the darkest charcoal. Okay, I'm making very dark lines. Okay, as you can see, I have set up nine boxes here. So I can uh, give myself the goal of getting nine different uh, value samples between darkest and lightest. Okay, so my darkest was easy. Now I'm going to go a step down. I still want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be as dark. I want it to be dark enough that it kind of slowly changes. It's a quick, I mean, it's a, it's a slow shift between these two colors for our eyes to make. If it were a sharp shift, it would be like, okay, here's my dark, dark, dark. And then I went into that, right? My eye goes really quickly from, wow, that's really dark to, oh, that's not as dark. Whereas here, my eye is like, oh, uh, those two seem very similar. If I blur my eyes, blur your eyes right now, everybody, <laughs> and look at this, there isn't too much of a contrast. There's not a huge difference between these two colors. Whereas there is a difference between these two colors. Dark black, light gray. Dark black, dark gray. Okay, so then I do the same thing here. Try to make sure that that is a lighter gray, but not a dramatically lighter gray, just a very subtle difference between these two things, between these two tones. Slightly blending into each other. And if I wanted to, I could smooth it out with my finger or with a blending stump, that might take a long time, or a chamois, that little cloth that should have come in your kit. If you don't have a chamois, any cloth will do. All right, slow change from dark to lighter colors. I do the same thing over here. Oops, my finger is still holding a lot of residue from the last one, so it went straight into making that darker. I might use a cleaner finger or a new cloth so that this is less dark. Even so, I'd say this might be too dark. It's still, it's almost as dark as the one before. So be careful of that. Right, you can see a little bit of the gradation change, but it's still pretty subtle. So at this point, I might switch over to my vine charcoal. My vine charcoal is a lot softer. So it's easier to get. And you can break your vine charcoal if you want it to be a smaller stub and then you can draw on the side of it so you're not using the fine tip. When you use the fine tip, it looks like that. When you use the edge of it, holding it like you're holding a piece of a stick rather than pointing, pointing. Hold it sideways and you can drag it along the surface and then it looks like a mark like that. So I'm just dragging it along the surface. Okay, so there's a more gradual leap happening there. And then I go even lighter. Okay. 
feeling even lighter. I'm just not pressing as hard. That's my that's my technique. I might press a little bit harder so that the camera will pick this up. My naked eye sees it, but the camera eye probably won't. But when you guys are doing this at home, you want to really be getting that light. So I'm exaggerating these darks a little bit. Lighter, light. This would be the lightest before it becomes white. I'm barely touching the surface. Okay, and then my lightest, I'm going in with a white. You guys might have Conti. I'm using white chalk. Okay, there's my value range, one through nine. Again, you can smudge it out so it looks smoother. You can go back in and be like, actually, my six looks really dark compared to my seven, so I might darken up my seven a little bit more. Just by pressing a tiny bit harder. Okay. And try to fill up the whole box so you can practice getting control with your charcoal. So don't just be like, ah, all right, little smudge in the middle, I'm finished. Try to really like fill up all the edges. Even if you fuck up a little bit, that's okay. This is a exercise to develop your confidence with your tool. As long as you're getting the general idea Everywhere else, that's okay. But don't don't settle for you know half ass. Go full ass. Try to get your entire box filled up with charcoal. But keep your eye on the prize, right? Still want it to be following this gradation line. Okay. Have fun.